Good morning, synth fans. So Falcon 2.5 was released late last week, and it is packed with a ton of new features and shows off some killer new patches. Today I'm going to show off two of Falcon's new toys, mainly the new rain sequencer, which is really awesome, and also the VC20 filter, which is a variable frequency filter found in the Korg MS20. First up, though, we're going to take a pad patch from UVI's PX Apollo, which sounds pretty good by itself. But you'll see what happens when we add the rain sequencer. Now the rain sequencer is one of a bunch of new ARPs that was added in Falcon 2.5 and they are found under the events section under layers. When you want to add a new effect here just go to the script processor then go to the sequencing and you'll see the new additions at the bottom. Uh, they've got the rain, warp, and wave sequencers and I think some of these others are also new. sequencer is reminiscent of the digital rain code from the matrix movies and lets you adjust several variables that are dependent on each note that you play so you can increase variation here by making some notes sparsely populated while other notes trigger regularly to change the volume of the note all you do is click hold and drag up or down on one of the boxes and then other parameters that can be changed are the speed in which the notes are played velocity multiplier for that speed and the amount of panning for each note. When you're using this on like a typical instrument, like a plucked or keyboard type instrument, uh, it's very obvious and definitely sounds like an arpeggiator. But if you use it on a pad, it can be much more subtle and will help create what sounds like a bit of randomization and movement. So up next is an organ patch from UVI's String Machines 2 collection. I'll play it dry first so you can kind of get the before and after differences. It's a great sounding organ right off the bat, but we're going to add the VC20 filter to it and use a slow sine wave LFO to create some movement. And then I'll play that live here so you can hear the difference. If you want a great explanation of what this filter does, check out the review that Jack from Andertons does on the updated MS-20 release by Korg, because this is not your typical filter. So let's hear the result. MS-20 can make some pretty wicked sounds, but here I'm just using it for subtle movement. The final patch is a bell sound, also from String Machines, and we are just limiting this to the upper registers. You can do that by clicking on the perf tab at the top, thus the bell will only ring in the upper octave of the keyboard. And this is a feature of like higher end church organs where they have multiple key beds. Thank you. 
Next, I've added Sandman Pro from Unfiltered Audio into the effects chain between both instruments. And this will introduce a little bit of sonic character. The old digital preset is dialed in, and this just adds some dirt and tape jitter to the pad, kind of introducing a lo-fi feel to it. Finally, we're going to throw UVI's plate reverb in to get that full lush cathedral hall sound. So Falcon 2.5 introduces some pretty cool new additions, um, a lot of new stuff actually, and they're having a pretty nice sale on the UVI website, so check it out if you're interested. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.